funnily today it was dry and 20 degrees and tomorrow and Sunday it should be raining like really badly so and as I told you last time in Pori Carly Castellia I said that I'm gonna explain you the steering wheel so this is what we're gonna do now um, yeah actually it's the same like in the Lara we just like press this button and then you have to pull it off um, yeah this is the steering wheel it has some more buttons compared to the Delara F3 um, so this is the dashboard you have the green button is the radio button um, the white button is there to put the first gear in so you have to press it and then shift up here you can switch the page um, so more details are going to be shown and I'm going to show you later then here you actually switch the engine on and also off so yeah that's something strange because you always have it in the cockpit but that's the first time you have it on the steering wheel so the purple button is the reverse button so you just press it and then you put reverse I think I've never used it so I don't really know how it works um, but the blue button is the rain light also here this is different because normally you have it also in the cockpit um, but because it's a really new car which was actually built end of 2018 um, they put like all the buttons on the dash or like on the steering um, this actually, I don't know what it is, <laughs> so I didn't use it until now, so I think it's not important. And the red button is the pit limiter again, because yeah, as you guys probably know, you have just yeah, you're just allowed to do 60 kph in the pit box. And now I'm going to put the steering wheel back on, and then I'm going to show you the cockpit and how it actually looks on the dashboard, because there are quite a lot of numbers with you switch pages. So um, yeah, this is the cockpit, and as you can see, we have some buttons here, which are just like a lot less than Lara. Um, the small thing here is actually to switch the ignition on and then you can see like the dashboard going on um, In the beginning there are a lot of lights and then this is like the page which we see while driving So now you can see it's neutral in so yeah because we're standing the car has no gear in um, You have the water temperature the battery Yeah, the battery and um, the oil pressure and the oil temperature Then here is the RPM and the lap times um, if something is wrong with the water temperature or so, then here are going to be signs switched off, like in, uh, switched on, like in yellow or red if it's really too hot or blue if it's too cold. Um, and as I told you, the grey button is there to switch pages. So if you like press it, you can, for example, here's the brake bias, um, and you can yeah check everything. It's like quite a lot of yeah numbers actually. <laughs> And yeah, we just use this page normally while driving and then like if we want to change brake balance We use this page to yeah, adjust it. So the red button is the brake balance Which you can adjust while driving and this is actually the only thing as a driver you can change like brake, uh, like car balance wise while driving, you know Because um, you can make it more front or rearwards while driving which actually really has a big yeah, big influence on the car balance um, and that's also what we drivers do a lot during races because um, if you feel the tires going off in the rear um, then you normally go more frontwards and yeah this is kind of a little trick we drivers use in racing and um, the higher you get the more you do it so for example if you watch F1 races they change it nearly before every single corner because every single corner the braking is different and you need a different brake balance but here it starts and here it's not that complicated but it's also we do it yeah it looks for driving while driving um, next time I'm going to explain you like the difference between the Delara and the, this yeah, regional car because there's actually a big difference um, just like car wise but yeah tomorrow and Sunday is time to race and we got the qualifying tomorrow morning quite early actually and then run race and two races on Sunday I hope it's not gonna be raining the whole time but yeah we'll see it's Italy so let it be positive and cry what if we're living in a fantasy some world that I could own do need to be fixed. That's pretty okay. Yeah, it's decent. You're, this is pretty nice actually in the preparation for turn 10. Okay, actually what you do in the last corner is pretty okay in terms of mid speed, but you do more distance than that. Yeah? Session. Gravel here, so I think with the start you should go as quickly as possible to the outside because it's full with stones here. Yeah? Sun and nothing to 
opposite We dance all night, didn't have to talk Your eyes met mine and I knew it was love depending on how the yeah, truck yeah, holds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For example, last corner, I want open, or I want go too wide, for example, right now. I will stay a bit tighter. Okay, I'll try to, try to see. At the rear start, please pay attention. Be fully prepared and tight to, to Joey. And let's do it. The only way to prevent it is to go gently on power. So you have control on how much you destroy the tires, basically. Yeah? Look. Yeah, she's in front, she's in front. If that is her, where's Joey? Joey's alone, okay, then it's her. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, and then the second part again, middle line. Then the race, more or less like we were doing before. Nothing. Really. Turn one. Very Pay true. attention. Normally, right now yeah, shouldn't yeah. be yeah. flat, obviously, but not breaking. Just a small lift, not completely, eh? Because otherwise we unsettle the rear. Small lift, and you go again, middle line as well. Okay. Isn't it Climbing trees were free only yesterday We were kids, we were doing what we wanted You were here one day, then gone the next And it's strange that we talk at least about the things we think about Were you aqua planning? Yeah, I'm just Yeah, me too. Oh. Ah, yeah. You can avoid the radar even more. I went into the box, like all the water on my pocket was like going into my car. Like, box. <laughs> yeah, 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 on the, on the inbound. Yeah. 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 Cold. But you see nothing. Huh? You see nothing. Oh, for me it was like 
And I had the dark visor, I just changed it now. I couldn't see nothing. Up. But the race director told me that they are removing the standing water at the exit of last corner and the exit of top four. Yeah. Because the way it's like, well, there is too much water there apparently. And yeah, actually now I would have started P3, but it was sunny and then at some point it just started raining like crazy and it was raining really, really bad. So we started the race on a safety car and did like two laps. And it was just, yeah, we were aqua planning and we didn't see anything. So um, they suspended the race, um, which is quite annoying. But yeah. At some point it will, in the season it will probably be like again happening, so we'll see. It's 9 in the morning and I'm already in Munich. Um, yeah, we had a really early flight and yeah, the weekend is over. Um, but longer is done. Um, the next one will be in Budapest in two months nearly. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming up in the next weeks, especially Mid Emilia, which is going to be soon, really soon. Um, I can't wait to be. They drive a really old, nice, expensive Mercedes Benz and um, especially to Italy. So yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be cool weeks coming up and see you next time again.